you know, one of the things that makes Silent Hill so prominent in a lot of people's lives is uh, the amount of years it's had time to kind of ruminate in everyone's brain. Um, that being said, the fan base has since then turned itself into a interesting little collage of people that think they know more, people that think they know better, or people that just come out with outlandish theories based on a game that's already been established. Uh, creators and directors and things of that sort have come in and explained away a number of different questions and given us answers that we've been looking for from time to time again. It's just been something that's happened. Um, but that doesn't stop some people on Reddit, for instance, which I decided would be a good idea to adventure down to go in and offer their expertise and opinions on things. And I'm going to read a few of them uh, as we go along and respond to them myself, no matter how stupid. Should be great, right? Probably. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Here's one that'll get me crucified. The HD remasters aren't as bad as people say. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tack on to that hot take as uh, the HD remakes were the best you had to get to play part two and three. Uh, the voice actors were got awful to to be sure. Uh, and a lot of the game was filled with bugs and constant resets and things like that. Once everything got settled, once the dust cleared and everything like that, you had a fairly regular game. The first few months, though, were god-awful. It was, it was a nightmare trying to get that into any semblance of a playable game. It wasn't as bad as people made it sound in the present day. However, it damn sure was just as bad as people made it sound in the first week. Good lord. You want to talk about building hype and then having a game fall apart on you. Uh, and the key reason that happened is because the source files were completely gone or deleted or destroyed, missing, stolen, whatever. They were gone. And so the company that had to come in and help Konami literally built Silent Hill from the ground up based on old builds. And since it was an old build they were using, it was prone to so many errors and, and breaks and, and game crashing glitches and things like that but yeah so yes and no the bread meme is overused not funny and annoying but correct I'm, I'm tired of seeing it for those who don't know in silent hill 3 when you were in a bakery in the mall as heather you check bread and she would say it's bread hilarity ensued everyone started saying it's bread using variants of it things like that haha -ha. Haha, uh haha. -huh, uh -huh. And then Silent Hill Ascension started using it in one of their payable stickers, and that kind of added insult to injury with Silent Hill Ascension. But it also further proved that that bread meme had obviously run its course, and we were all done with it. I don't know why people keep using it still, it's just not funny. The sexual frustration of Silent Hill 2 has been mostly exaggerated by the internet, as well as Pyramid Head wasn't doing the deed with other monsters. This has actually been stated by the developers, but the sexual frustration theories still tend to dominate the discussion. Okay, I like a, I like a good theory like the next person, but yeah, this has been a way overused trope that they everybody from their mom to their uncle that has played the game tend to start to lean on, and maybe even too hard. Uh, sexual frustration is a real thing. There's nothing mythical about it or anything like that, but when you lean on it so hard, you start to ignore all the nuances from every other part of Silent Hill, and that's probably the worst thing you want to do since the game is filled full of just little nuggets of just psychological goodness, and you're too busy going going, yeah, Pyramid Head's walking around because he wants to bone people like uh, James wants to bone people. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take away from the message with another message. You're, you're, you're not doing the game a service this way. And believe you and me, I, I'm just tired of fucking hearing about it. Jesus Christ, we get it. Or, uh, we get it, God. Holy hell, this comment is longer than a CVS receipt. Um... Okay, too long didn't read. Maria's just a figment of James' imagination. Okay, I can work with that. I don't know what all other stuff was, but... 
I don't know what's so hard to understand about this, but Silent Hill is not what everyone swears it is. Silent Hill is a means to an end. It's a it's a service. It's a it's a conduit. It's I don't I don't even know what other way to say this. When you go into Silent Hill and you have super villain powers, Silent Hill is something you can draw from. It's something that will manifest based on who you are. It's something that will accentuate who you are. Think of What's a good example? Ah, The Mask, okay? In the movie The Mask, the mask is supposed to bring out your inner being when you put on the mask. It's supposed to make whatever you are become the prominent and forefront. That's what Silent Hill does, except it comes in the form of manifestations, hallucinations, and a number of different other sentient bits of life coming to be. Maria is not a figment of imagination by any long long stretch of the imagination. Maria was created by Silent Hill based on things going on in James head. Uh, the thing about this is whatever's created, uh, other people may not see. So in instances when it comes to Laura or Eddie running into Maria, it seems far more unlikely that would happen. However, they are very much real. However, there's no need for Maria to appear in front of any other character besides James. In Silent Hill 1, Harry saw Silent Hill completely different than everything else, than anyone else. Uh, in Silent Hill 3, Heather saw it different than anyone else. Heather saw Silent Hill as a, a, a fucking nur not nursery, but uh, almost an incubator to actually create gods and things like that. So everywhere she went, it didn't look like the ratty storm cellar drain that it looked in part one. Instead, it looked like it was a play set for ceremony uh and more times than not she got to see the inner workings in the background and Valtiel and things like that because that was her purpose there it brings everything out it accentuates once again this this whole it was all the dream bullshit that that does not work it does not work and it never has and in every iteration of Silent Hill it always seems to be a composition of everything that makes you who you are Silent Hill essentially turns it against you and that's it so the idea that she's not real, bullshit, and this whole hot take is garbaggio, and I'm glad I didn't read the five, ten minutes of it. For me, Silent Hill Shattered Memories is one of the best Silent Hill games ever. Look, I'm just going to say this because uh, uh, we Silent Hill fans are, are so starved for Silent Hill content that we've turned against each other and we began uh, cannibalizing each other. Uh, this person loves Silent Hill Shattered Memories, and you know what? More power to him. I completely disagree. I think the game was just paperweight material. Don't get me wrong, but if that's if that's where your source of fandom comes from, that's why you love the entire franchise. Fucking do you, bro? Like I'm, I'm, I'm. I've seen way too many people just absolutely stomp all over someone else because their opinions were not. I love Silent Hill 2 or I love only the originals, or I love. Just let that let that shit go. Like, I personally will demand a better Silent Hill game from the company, but I will never demand you all to agree or demand you all to follow with what I'm saying. Hell, if anything, you guys have been disagreeing with me lately, which is awesome. I actually prefer that as well, so that works out. Um, but let him, let him, let him have Silent Hill Shattered Memories as his favorite Silent Hill. Uh, maybe he just likes, uh, maybe he just, you know, likes an easy time in a game that has no weapons. Silent Hill 1 is better than Silent Hill 2. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily a hot take, but I will tell you this much. I absolutely agree. Everyone loves Silent Hill 2 to their dying breath. And I get it. I get it. I really do. It, it's a good game. A good story. It's a staple in my history of Silent Hill fandom. But no, Silent Hill 1 is my favorite one, hands down. Harry Mason is a far more likable character than, than a lot of the main characters. But James, more importantly. James is a wet blanket, and he depresses me. And maybe that's his purpose. But Silent Hill 1 all the way. PT was hot dog shit. Why did everyone like it? And Silent Hill Arcade is the best entry besides the dungeon crawler. Uh, okay, it's it's one thing to say PT was dog shit if you didn't like it. That's completely understandable. Uh, so I'm going to chalk that up to just being subjective and call it a night. However, the, <laughs> uh, the arcade, I don't know if anyone's ever been privy, and you, you should definitely, I mean, check it out <laughs> on YouTube. 
but the uh, arcade was nonsense absolute nonsense and when you watch the videos based on the storyline alone and the the fmv sequences before you're just shooting random things like a light gun shooter uh it was abysmal and there's not one fan that likes it and any fan that does say they like it are lying okay don't and i'm going to ignore the dungeon crawler because silent hill book of memories or book of shadows or shadows of memories or shadow of the day or whatever the hell it is was just terrible at present i'm trying to find a way to get a copy of it just so i can play through it for you guys but it's a dungeon crawler silent hill game and last i checked silent hill's not diablo they can go uh they can they can go die whatever that it's it's just an awful premise so this person's obviously trolling and uh plus 10 for uh troll points but uh minus 700 for everything else jesus christ Kojima sucks, his taste sucks, as cool as PT was, if he had made an actual Silent Hill game, it would have been self-important and overly designed garbage. Look, we, we know, we know how this works. We, we know Kojima has a tendency to make a very, very artsy-fartsy game, no matter what it is. You saw Death Stranding, you know how this works. Uh, so I can't disagree with this. However, I would have eaten it up. I absolutely would have, and I would have been the first person in line to, to admit that. Uh, but to say it would have been just a standard Silent Hill and not some crazy experience, uh, I'd be lying. He does have a tendency to go over the top with his symbolism and things like that, and, and sometimes I appreciate it, and sometimes I just roll my eyes. That's part of the Kojima package. That's, that's what happens. But, but no, uh, it, it's, it's, it would have been different. And as for Kojima just sucking, I don't think he sucks. I just think he's up his own ass sometimes. Which is honest. I'll admit it. The series being interpretive doesn't mean that every single dumb theory you have is valid. The games aren't that complicated and we've had far too much time to overanalyze them. There is nothing wrong with that statement at all. And that's probably the real, out of all the Silent Hill hot takes and theories, this is probably the most grounded statement I could have ever heard. There are a thousand ways you can interpret anything, Silent Hill notwithstanding. But because we've had so much time with this game, people are just running off with just headcanons and fan fictions and things like that. And they're just saying words. It doesn't mean anything. And they're just hoping someone latches onto it so they can keep it going like some sort of Slender Man urban legend. When in fact, everything is pr pretty much given to you right, right off rip. Like you... There's nothing more you need to know about any of it. And the fact that some people are like, no, but maybe what about this? I can, I can get behind that. I can get behind the maybes. What I can't get behind is someone walking up and just saying that this is hard, hard facts. You've already had people like Masahiro explain certain circumstances. And the man invented Pyramid Head. So let's, let's chill on interpreting things far beyond what it was supposed to be right from the start, please. No? Okay, I thought I'd ask. That Konami should not make another Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2 Remake is going to be bad because of Bloober. Fans should stop asking for another Silent Hill and just ask for a re-released. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You had me in the first half and then you kind of lost me from there. Uh, we really should stop getting Silent Hills made. Uh, I love Silent Hill. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Silent Hill, but I'm firmly convinced there's no way to capture lightning, lightning in a bottle twice, and more importantly, I do not want another remake. We're about to get two different versions of Part 2's plotline because Konami knows everyone has a boner for Silent Hill 2. So we're going to get Return to Silent Hill and we're going to get the Silent Hill 2 remake. Just yeah, let's stop. Let's, let's absolutely stop. It's not like we're going to get a Silent Hill 3 remake. No one's gonna make a Silent Hill 4 remake. The best we'll get out of the 1 through 3 trilogy is a part 2 remake and a movie. And then they're gonna move on to Downpour and Homecoming or they're just gonna make a new one. Like uh, F or Townfall, you know, things like that. But overall, maybe they should stop. Maybe they should. Maybe, maybe there's, I mean, we spent 20 years talking about the game already, so maybe there's enough content in that. Maybe it can just be shelved, and we can just call it even. But do not make another remake. Good lord, I can't do it. I, 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 this, this sad, humble fan cannot take another remake. 
I'm noticing that the actual unpopular opinions in this thread are all getting downvoted. Come on people, my hot take? Silent Hill 4 is maybe a 3 out of 10 game at best. Bland visuals, a boring soundtrack, a dumb story, sound design filled with stock sound effects, and some of the worst level design of that era. Any of the western game clears it easy. I'm just going to tell you that Silent Hill 4 seems to be a back and forth. Uh, half the fans love it, half the fans hate it. I personally love the game. I completely disagree with a 3 out of 10. Even for someone who hated, hated the Silent Hill, 3 out of 10 is saved for something like Shattered Memories or, uh, or Ascension or things like that. But this does not deserve a 3 out of 10. I completely disagree. There's nothing bland about it. And if there's something that's supposed to be dark and dreary, it's because it was intended to be that way. The story's not dumb. It's a really good story. Um, and, uh, the level design is amazing in my opinion, uh, but that's all subjective. What's not subjective is the statement, any of the Western games clear it easy. That is madness. None of the Western games clear any of the Japanese versions of Silent Hill. They just do not. There's no way I, I, in good conscience, could ever say something that insane. And this person has balls made of brass, gold, and steel, and possibly diamond, because that is, that is nuts. No way. Anyway, we gotta go back to the other statement he made, the second, second part of this, let's go. Oh yeah, I just remembered another, juicier opinion. Ascension is not the unforgivable abomination everyone thinks it is. It's only sort of average. It's not the worst thing to happen to Silent Hill. Everyone is overreacting. And to that I say this. Uh, let's use Square Enix as an example. Uh, Final Fantasy 20 is about to come out. It is hyped as the next good Final Fantasy game. People have been waiting years and years for it. They want to see what Square Enix has to provide, only to find out in the zero hour that the game is in fact going to be a mobile fighting game. Nothing more, nothing less. Complete with microtransactions that allow you to unlock characters you couldn't previously play as before from other Final Fantasies. Okay? You hear this and you go, but what about the RPG console game that you used to create all the time? What happened with that? That's what you do. That's to which they explain, well, this is a new direction we're taking it in and it's made by an entirely new team. But don't worry, Square Enix says it's okay and it's canon. Are you supposed to just sit there and say, oh, okay, I didn't think about it that way. Let me just enjoy it then. Or are you going to raise hell about it because this is not what you have been buying, this is not what you've been signing up for, and it's most certainly not going to be enjoyable. Now, there are some, very few out there, who will go, that sounds nice, and they will go and buy it. And to that, I say, congrats, I'm glad you can enjoy something where others cannot. However, I will also say this, we have every right to lose our minds over this. We, we grew up with a series that we've been waiting on longer than, than most have been waiting on a sequel to their own franchises. And we finally get it and it turns out to be something so outside of the uh, norm that it's not even considered a game. Like you realize Ascension is not even considered a game. Yet we're waiting for another Silent Hill. That's like saying, I've been waiting for this movie to come out for about 20 years and I just found out it's a sandwich. What? What? So, no, I don't believe people are overreacting. I believe this is the appropriate amount of uh, overreaction for the situation. I, it's definitely not overreacting. Uh, you couldn't be more wrong about that. But, you know, hey, to each their own. You've already given subjective opinions before. I'm going to just talk th chalk this up to being subjective and just move on because I won't lie, that last hot take made my blood boil a little bit. <laughs> I don't care if Pyramid Head is used in other games or movies and breaks the lore. A franchise can have a mascot. I'm, I'm sorry, are you insane? It breaks the lore. All for the sake of a mascot, you would have Pyramid Head walking around in every Silent Hill, no matter what it's about or what it's based on, just so you can have a mascot, even if it breaks the lore. Think about what you just said right there and, and kind of run it back a few different times in your head. Let it, let it swish around like water in a glass and really, really just get a feel for what you just said because it sounds like the one reason you like a game, Silent Hill, is because of its enriching story and psychological warfare it combats with your brain while you play and you're about to discount 50% of that reason because you want a mascot to walk around. That is absolutely absurd and I, I refuse to talk any further on it. Nah.
Silent Hill Revelations 3D is a shockingly more accurate adaptation of Silent Hill 3 than the first movie was to the original game. I'm, I'm sorry, were we watching the same movies or playing the same games? Uh, Silent Hill 1 had the inclusion of a few gender swaps and, uh, and Sybil's demise changing, okay? There were, there were some changes, don't get me wrong. But to imply that's, that's, that's far more egregious than the idea that Heather now controls Pyramid Head like a Pokemon at the end of the movie and causes it to battle against another boss character. What? We obviously have played two different games. Silent Hill Revelations was just willy-nilly, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want, creative liberty bullshit. And, and I know this for a fact. And if the ending battle wasn't enough for you to realize that that was the case, like... There's nothing I can do for you. So that's not a hot take. That's just flat out wrong. <laughs> I don't know about downpour, but homecoming is sauce. I can, I can safely say with great certainty that homecoming was not sauce. Oh, there's a reply here. What's it say? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yep. There it is. There it is. Folks, that was just me taking a break from my uh, my day-to-day -day, uh, game news, just to kind of see what the uh, see what the Silent Hill fan base was doing, what they were up to, kind of check the pulse and all that good stuff. Now, bear in mind, it's not going to get any better from here. We're going to wait and see what happens with each Silent Hill, but every subsequent Silent Hill has met with great disappointment. However, I'm still going to be hopeful, just because it's what I do, and I've been hopeful for 20 years so far. So, you know, YOLO. That being said, if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Better yet, the uh, thumbs up icon is pretty lonely as well. There's a bell over there you can click that I can spam you with intrusive ads about how I've made a new video. And it shows up right next to the text from your mom. So why don't you go ahead and uh, click that one too. In the meantime, special shout out to all my patrons. You will find them... Let's do here. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, and in the meantime... I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. Be sure to go down to the description of the video and click on one of the many, many, many wonderful links down on display, including my Discord, or even better yet, my Patreon, which will allow you to gain access to a number of different chats and one-on-ones with me where we can talk about my content and you can throw things my way and pitch ideas. Okay, now I can breathe. You guys take care. I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.